Hello world, Dino Mega here. Today I'm excited to introduce you to version 2.0 of my Unreal Engine 5 inventory and item blueprint system. This easy to set up and use blueprint system will give you everything you need to add items and inventory to your game. Included you will find the item system to easily add, get, and manage items in your game. The drag and drop inventory system which is packed with all kinds of little features like placing items in any slot, splitting stacks, dropping stacks in the world, and even dropping partial stacks in the world. Some items are even usable. You can easily adjust slot counts and even change them at runtime. The item and slot changes save automatically and persist between levels. Also included is the new hot bar system which comes packed with all the features found in the inventory system as well as a few unique goodies. You can easily map key bindings to any of the slots and when pressed it will use the item in the slot if it is usable. You can also use the mouse wheel to select different slots without actually using the item. And you can then use the left mouse button to use the usable item in the selected slot. You can toggle hiding and showing the hotbar and easily play a flash or shake effect on a specific slot. And if you don't want to use the hotbar you can easily disable it without any extra overhead to your project. There is a storage container system you can use to place containers in the world to give your players a place to store their goodies. Storage containers also include all the features found in the inventory system like different slot counts, stack splitting, and saving on chain. Items in storage containers can be accessed by one player at a time. However, all players in multiplayer games can access, add, and remove the items from it. The Banking NPC is a cross-level storage solution unique to the player interacting with it that also includes all the great features found in the inventory. Banking is also optional and you can easily disable it just by setting the bank slots to zero. The Vendor NPC is a storekeeper where your player can buy and sell items. You can adjust and add as many items as you want to the buy list and adjust quantities and respawn rates for each one. You can also sell items to the NPC and there are multipliers you can adjust for both the buy and sell prices. And each vendor can require a different item as the currency. I also included a crafting system which you can use to create recipe tables that create even more items. There are also loot boxes, treasure chest examples that contain assigned or random loot, and a drop loot system that can be attached to an NPC so they drop loot. And you can even drop the player's inventory on death. And other players can loot. Everything is multiplayer ready and replicated for you. I even included the interaction system in the demo world you're seeing in this video. Dino, this sounds great, but how hard is it to set up? And will it work with Lyra? That is an excellent question, Timmy. Version 1.0 was a challenge to set up if you're not using it as a starting point. And the people have spoken. And now in version 2, it is even easier to set up on all projects, including Lyra. To get started, attach one component to your player controller, and you are done. I created multiple setup guides to walk you through getting it installed and set up on the most popular starting projects. And if you're upgrading from version 1.0, make sure you check out the changelog and include some upgrading tips and suggestions. Blueprints are clean and contain comments throughout all the major parts. The documentation is also extensive and ongoing. And you can check it out right now without having to do any kind of crazy verification. You can also download and play the Windows Builder, the demo world right now. A link to the marketplace, documentation, and the downloadable demo can be found in the description. This is an active and ongoing project. And in addition to updates and the new marketplace assets, I will also post tutorials for my Blueprint system on this channel. If you have any questions or find any bugs or would like to request a tutorial, please let me know. Thanks for watching and good luck with your game.